So Gilliam, you presented uh, just a little bit ago on uh, your overall PLM plans, and I just wanted to hear a little bit more about how you guys are tying in uh, PLM to address your business objectives, some of the specific areas where you're applying it. Okay, actually what we did is that we tried to identify the key area of application of our PLM, and we, we basically identified six of them. Uh, system engineering, obviously we are a rail, a rail transportation system integrator, so system engineering is very important to us and we believe the PLM can help us greatly there. Um, with uh, all our design tools and the integration of design tools, uh, this is a second area where we feel that uh, there is a lot of benefits uh, of using PLM, a lot of values. Third area, key area of application to support our objective is maintenance. We believe that uh, PLM indeed will uh, enforce, help us enforce maintenance uh, requirement into our designs. Fourth, configuration management, of course, as everybody, we will do configuration management with our PLM. Project man management will also beneficiate, and I, we think that using PLM for um, project management or in the, in the context of project man management will help us having a, a better evaluation of the risks of our projects. And finally, uh, extended enterprise functionality and the way we can communicate between uh, in multi-sites uh, in real time. And this is something we think will largely contribute to the two objectives we gave ourselves. Reduction of engineering cost by 15% and reduction of lead time, development lead time by 15%. And uh, so to those objectives, those targets, you've set sort of a, a roadmap to get there that um, you feel you can meet. Do you just want to state yeah. briefly a little bit about where your, your plans are headed? Exactly. What we did is that we tried to uh, position in time uh, the target that we want to reach. And we, we, we decided that we would go for five years. Five years would be the time at which the full functionality of our PLM will be deployed. Um, and to reach that, we will release every year year after year, one version, you know, each version being slightly richer from a functional standpoint than the other. So we'll start with a, a little more than the legacy, uh, then we'll make a focus on configuration management for the V2, on system for the V3, etc., up to reach V5, which will be the, the full scope. Great, thank you.